This week we are in Ottawa, the nation's capital. Behind me, the Parliament buildings, the House of Commons. This is where they tell us all the great ideas for this country come from. Okay, I hear you, we're not going to talk politics, but we are here in Ottawa to meet a gentleman who came up with an idea for a business that he believes is a solution for people who have a problem trying to find enough hours in the day to do everything they want to do, including servicing the family car. Eight years ago, Peter Husch arrived in Canada from Poland to begin a new life. His dream was to earn enough money so his family could join him. He never turned down a job, training as a mechanic during the day and washing dishes at night. Five years ago, he began Mobile Mechanics. His truck is his shop in which he makes household calls, maintaining and repairing vehicles. His family has since joined him, but Peter will never forget those early days. That I still have two older uh, couple which uh, calls me every spring to clean their barbecues. And I went there just, you know, for, for a back, just because in the beginning I was doing uh, everything. And right now I have uh, no guts to tell them that I'm not doing these things anymore. And, <laughs> and I go in and, and clean their barbecue. But actually it was uh, two factors which uh, sort of forced me to do what I'm doing right now. Uh, the first was the independence and the second was the uh, money. Of course, to open uh, a garage you have to have uh, much more money than, than to open mobile garage and much more overhead. And I uh, discovered that, you know, you can do almost everything mobile. Oh, never, never lonely. Uh, I, uh, you know, when I'm going from one guy to, to another, I, I keep my mind on other things and uh, you know, enjoying the scenery and, uh, you know, it's just uh, time for me, relax. And then if you're idling at a corner, or the other day I was at the uh, coffee shop waiting in line to go mm -hmm. pay, and uh, the car stalled out three times on me. Just happened to see his truck one day on the road, passed by and I said to my wife, that's a great idea, take the number down, let's see what we can do. Called him up, had him come over and do some work on one of my son's cars. Extremely pleased the uh, way he talked with you. He talks to you in a language you can understand, takes care of your needs, and does it very reasonably. And you know what I'm going to do? Uh, you have here, you have uh, idle air control motor. It's like a step motor. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out and clean it because in many cases the car, it carbons up, you know, the carbon builds up. Right. And, and it, and uh, uh, the motor doesn't control the idle the way it should, you know, like oh, sometimes, yeah, that's why, because that's the only reason why the car stalled, is the uh, idle air control motor, okay? okay? I think I'm fully equipped to do uh, uh, most of the jobs. Of course, uh, I don't do uh, engines, I mean, I don't pull engines, transmissions, and the heavy job. But besides that, uh, I can do, you know, from exhaust, the brakes, front, rear end, uh, suspensions, uh, tune-ups, uh, head gaskets, uh, valve cover gaskets. And of course, I have uh, high-tech equipment, uh, scope, uh, scanner, uh, computer. I can handle any job. I don't really have much use for mobile mechanics. Um, his concept uh, was quite good, and uh, he was honest, and he was above board he can survive because he's by himself. Uh, actually, most small businesses, I don't think you're going to see too many more small automotive businesses. They're going to be a, a dinosaur in the next few years. It's just getting that you just can't do it because of the overhead and, and so on. Do you try and undercut the independence on an hourly rate or do you try and stay no, comparable? Uh, no, definitely not. You can't uh, undercut because uh, when you undercut your uh, competition, you're undercutting yourself and you end up, you know, being cheap. And I don't want to uh, uh, create the image, OK, call this guy, he's a cheap cheap mechanic. You know, I don't want to create that image. Uh, I charge fair uh, hourly rate and, uh, and I do an uh, excellent job and uh, that's it. I don't want to say, hey, you Canadians, you don't know where, where you live, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just, this country is just beautiful, uh, and I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, to, to be nice. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you what I feel about this country. is uh, opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. If you want to do it, just, you, you know, you have a dream, just, you know, hang on to it and go for it. Nothing stops you. 
If you consider motoring TV has been on the air for 30 plus years, there's no doubt you've missed a few episodes. Well, there's a couple of ways you can catch up and make sure you don't miss anything. First, you can go to YouTube and look up just segments or complete shows. Also, if you want to know what we're doing like today on a daily basis, just go to our Facebook page. And also, you can go to motoringtvshop.com, get some cool swag. Oh, there's also that Instagram thing.